<laughs> Welcome to Murphy's Kitchen and another episode of Cooking with Murphy. And we're making today what? Uh, chicken adobo. Chicken adobo. Oh, yes. Okay. So first you have to you got a big bag of chicken that you froze up, huh? Yes. From our own organic grown chickens. Mm -hmm. No chemicals, no antibiotics, nothing like that, huh? Yes. All right. All natural foods. Natural. Okay. So what are you going to do first? Just cut them up? Cut them up. Yeah. Cut pieces up so it's a little, little frozen yet? Yes. Okay. Well, we'll probably come. I will do the fire gonna first. going to mess the fire up, okay? Yes. All right. Well, let it sit there and hit to the fire then. I'll step on this side of you. I'll get some charcoal. They have charcoal in a big old bag there. And Murphy makes her own little glove out of a plastic bag. Mm, to prevent not to get... You don't want to get dirty, huh? Black. Okay. And it's pretty nasty dust, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, we use charcoal because there's a lot less smoke. And it burns pretty good. It takes a little use to getting cooking with it, doesn't it? It's not quite as not quite as hot as wood, but, yeah. but it works nice. This guy here, he's just hoping for a handout. Look at him. He knows there's chicken on the grill. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what's next? Next is we chop the prepare the spices. Spices, huh? The uh, garlic and uh, and that what do you call that? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Huh? Inside. Boy, you're you're not too prepared today, huh? <laughs> go get go get your stuff. All right. Yesterday we got went up to Beth and Phillips house. And they gave us a whole bag of onions and cucumbers and some green tomatoes and some peppers. Uh, his garden is just uh, cranking out food like you wouldn't believe. He had some corn that was about seven foot tall, grown sweet corn. Next time I'm up there, I'll take a video. I didn't have my camera with me yesterday. We we're just on a visit to say hi. And uh, the chicken turned out real nice. And you can see Murphy saves all the livers and stuff like that. She'll mix all that in somehow. Uh. <laughs> oh, and and she's back. And we're gonna use we're gonna use from Alex some Tex Joy steak seasoning that he says is good on anything. Mm. So we'll use a little that has a little paprika in it. You'll like that. I'll use my, um, my own version. Own version of what? <laughs> of chicken adobo? Yes. Yeah, well, you have to, again, this is kind of like everything else we do, huh? We, we have to use what we have and... Yes. See, what do you do first? You cut off the end? Oh. Tell everybody what you're doing. It's for people that don't that, that haven't cooked before. They're watching your show to learn how to cook. I removed the, the top of the... Because it's old and I think it's dirty. Okay, I think that was the bottom, but okay. Oh, the bottom. Could be, I, could, I guess that could have been the top, yeah? <laughs> and then you some of the skin off? Yes, um, okay. chop it. You got a nice little cutting board there, huh? Mm. I think I need to get you the ceramic knife so you can just slice through that stuff a little, a little sharper. And, uh... What's that stuff? Garlic. Garlic, huh? Yes. Okay. What do you do with that? I will, um... Smash? Smash it. Smash it. Doesn't look like a very good smasher. What's the purpose of that? To make um, the aroma. Get the juice out of it? <laughs> yeah. When you cook it in America, that you use this garlic. Some people do. Huh? Do I? Uh, yes. No. 
Oh, I, eat. I eat. You should know me by now. I eat oh, everything. Oh, I eat everything yeah. completely plain, don't I? Uh, I don't like. I have, I put a little salt and pepper in my food. That's all. Your mom. Your mom something. probably does, yeah. Oh. But I don't eat my mom's food. I like. I eat my own plain food. Oh, okay. So about half a half a thing of garlic. Mm. Now what are you doing there? What do you call that? I slice it. Yeah, I got. Yeah. We call that mincing, but okay. Uh, mincing. Slicing, though, I guess, same thing. Mm. Mince just means small pieces. Oh, okay. We're going to use some of our YouTube money and we're going to buy Mara Fee a, a food processor sometime. She'd like to get a food processor and a juicer. That's something, that she, that's something she'd really like to have, yeah. Well, we have a microwave. We've had that for a few years. That's pretty handy, isn't it? And, uh,. When we get rich and famous, I want to get a, uh, I, I want to get an ice shaver too. I really like to think, I really like something like that. Would be really nice. That's funny, Dad. What's that? Rich and famous. Oh yeah, so that's that's our goal, rich and famous. Yes. Uh -oh. What you got in there? That's right. Oh, that's rice from this morning. Okay. This morning, then you put oil. Put oil in there. Yes. Okay, and we're using soybean oil instead of palm oil because again, that's what that's what we use here. They call it soya oil here, so it's soya. supposed to be soybean oil, but mm. you never really know what you're getting here. Soya, it's not English then? So um. Soya, soy know. oil. We use called, we use the word called soybean, but uh, yes. Soy. But we've had we've had uh, soya oil and stuff that even says soybean oil on it before. That definitely wasn't. It was just coconut oil. Mm. Um, you know, whatever they have at the end of their barrel, they just throw in the, whatever bottles they have. There's not a lot of quality control here. Mm. I think you're a little frozen there. But we're waiting for the what's it called? That? Okay, don't watch out. What you're doing there with that knife there. Still hard, Dad. Still hard, huh? <laughs> Still hard, yeah. That's good. Frozen. Frozen solid, okay. Yeah. I just hey, got a neck off anyway, I guess. huh? No, it's still hard. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll have to come back in a few minutes. Yes. Um, back in a minute? Yes, we'll be back in a minute. Mara Fee decided to take matters in her own hands. Yes. Yeah. So get the better of this frozen chicken here. So she got out a regular bolo. It's much easier. That's her bolo from Brazil. Mm. Just kind of chunking it up, huh? Yeah. yeah. Very nice. You got a good, good technique there. Isn't it amazing when a Filipino chops down, they chop down a second time and third time right in the exact same spot every time. When I chop, <laughs> I chop all over the place. I haven't quite mastered that yet. So I've been using a knife since I was a kid. How old? Mama, five years old. Five years old, they give you a knife, huh? Oh. Till you, you, till you get to work. Firewood. You see the big knife. Huh. Firewood, no. That's an interesting word for Marfi to bring up as a kid. Uh, what's your What's your firewood story? <laughs> huh? Tell everybody real nice and loud while you're chopping I up. Have a firewood story. When I was starting a, a fire in the in our yard, and then I burned the garbage, and then it it's gonna. Fire is getting bigger and it, it burned the uh, the banana and the other the coconut tree and the fire goes to the <laughs> our old house that's full of uh, good wood hardwood and I burn it the whole fire I pile wood a whole house full of wood yes, huh uh, how old are you. I was, um, I think, uh, nine years old at that time. <laughs> and Papa was so mad. Did he beat you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a good beating out of that? Yes. Uh, yeah. And after he didn't, he didn't, he didn't believe it was just an accident, huh? He didn't yes, care about that? Uh, and Mama was so scared at that time because the fire is so big. 
And after the big fire, there's a big coal. <laughs> A house. So you're you're a firebug, huh? I like that. Yeah. Oh, before. Hmm. That's this nice thing. Yeah, I thought I'd include that. I don't forget any of the little things I hear. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a nice pile of chicken there, huh? Oh, big pile. So you cut the grass with that knife and you chop the chicken up with the same knife, huh? <laughs> oh, Pretty okay. good. Very useful. All purpose. <laughs> That's one of the best knives I ever found. I found that in a hardware store in Togbalaren for three dollars and it's kind of a cheap thin one but it's actually a famous brand in Brazil after I've done a lot of research on it later on and I wish I would have bought three or four of them because I've never seen another one ever again. Oh. But actually a machete style, a nice thin blade. It's great for grass and weeds. And light enough that you can swing it all day. Oh, that's quite a pile. Look at that. That's quite a pile of chicken. Yes. Holy cow. We got left in there. Some livers and stuff, huh? Yes. You cook all those up too? I set with that. Yes, for the pancit. Oh, for the pancit, okay. Alright. And we'll be back again in a yeah. for the next step. The next step is a quick marinade. And what do you use for your marinade? Um, soy sauce. Soy sauce. Uh, and vinegar. Vinegar. And pepper. And pepper, okay. How about that fancy sauce, or that powder from Alex? Oh, I like that. So we're going to put that in there for the marinade? Mm. Hmm? Okay, we'll try that. I like to put it in the big container, but I, I don't have big ones. Do I have a big enough container? Yeah. So you kind of just splashing some soy sauce on there. Okay. Mm. So put little vinegar. Vinegar. Vinegar is pretty strong, isn't it? Yeah. Wrap her all around. Well, you like to get right in there and get your hands in there, don't you, for your cooking? Mm. That's your style? Yeah. Dive right in? Okay. Mm. I think people are going to like this video, huh? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I've had a lot of people asking for some cooking with Mara Fee, so yeah. this is going to be our new series. We're actually going to make a, a channel just for Mara Fee eventually, <laughs> and uh, she wants to, uh, if we make any money at it, she wants to donate it to the church yeah, that's for projects my, and stuff. That's my goal. Okay. Very unselfish. I like that. That's a pastor in the island. That are you going to give money away to other people? No, it's not giving. Help, little bit money. Someday. I would use it for your own church, but whatever. If our church is finished, my first <laughs> priority never, is never the finished. Thing. The always going to be. Church. It's always going to be something else that needs to be done. Always. Wouldn't it be nice if we could get enough money where you could start a little college fund to start putting the kids through school? Oh. Wouldn't that be nice? That looks nice one. Yeah, so that's, 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 that's actually a really good goal. Yeah. It's cold. Oh, it's cold because it's still frozen inside, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And right. get the pepper. What kind of pepper? Powdered pepper? Powder. You don't have any here? No. <laughs> you do run back in the house an awful lot, don't you? Good exercise, I guess. Huh? All right. Here's a look at our fire starter bowl. That's all sawdust mixed with wax, and uh, we use that to char start the charcoal.
Chick 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 ch
quite the operation. I put the juice. The juice goes in there too? Oh. Okay. That's my secret. First cook it first and then put the juice in later. Okay. The marinade. <laughs> hmm? It's a lot. That's a lot. Look at that size of that bowl there. Now, I don't like about those pots there is the, the cooking pot, the, the stand, it's, it's not very stable. I was cooking something, was I cooking spaghetti the other day and it, it was seemed real tippy to me. Excuse me, Shaggy. No, because that. <laughs> we got a little, a little step here for. I'll get it, I'll get it. <laughs> Got a little step here we made for her so she can deal with it. I made everything my height in the kitchen so that I don't have to, when I cook and stuff I don't have to bend over. I figured it's much easier for to make a little steps for everybody else to step up to it because mm -hmm. I can't get I can't get shorter. They can easily get taller. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense, right. doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Alright, so you're just gonna keep stirring that up and putting the lid on it, let it cook for a while and cover it push it down tight okay all right oh we'll come back in another 20 minutes or so and see how it's doing all right oh, I see you put a piece of wood in there to raise the temperature a little bit huh yeah oh yeah it's starting to look like chicken now Almost cook, huh? Mm. Almost done. Mm. Nice and spicy? Yeah. Yes. Mmm, it smells good. <laughs> Man, how's it coming now? Oh, look at that. That looks like chicken now, huh? <laughs> huh? Pretty nice looking, yes. huh? Wow. Almost done, or what? Cool. Yeah. So the next thing is, uh, what you got your chicken livers there yet too? What's that for? Mix it, mix it. Oh, with the other, the other meat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. With the pork. Okay, great. Mm. Well, here's the finished chicken. It smells peppery in here. Yeah. Okay, it's September fourth, and we're gonna work on shapes with Shannon. What do you got here? Heart. Heart. Tie. Oval. Circle. Circle. Rectangle. Oval. Diamond. Hexagon. Triangle. Square. Very good. Very good. How about, what else can you do? How about a, one question?